All right, my name is Justin Braddock, and today we have some child safety locks, and I love what it says on the outside, except uh, where's it made, I don't know, not sure, where does it say it's made, it doesn't say, okay, it's a four pack, um, here we go, so let's see if I can put this in here, let you see the box, there's the box, yeah, okay, so now, we got that out of the way, um, Let's uh, take a picture of the box and we'll open it up and see what's inside. Um, I guess it comes with some extra 3M adhesive stuff and this sort of thing. And I don't have any children, so I don't know what I would use this on. Uh, unless, I guess, you know, someone really gets out of their mind, you could try using it on adults. But, um, you know, but uh, pretty much, yeah. So, I might end up giving this away to somebody with kids, I'm not sure. Um, cut the open, the open, cut the end open. Some of these people, you know, usually I've sent these products free in exchange for review. Some companies actually pay me, but not to do the review, just to do the video review only. Um, where's this at? Come on, come out of there. Well, I'm like ripping the box open here. I don't know why. Huh? Oh, well. I guess it's a child safety proof box too, because I... It's like made to where you can't. It's got several layers of protection here to get to the product, which is kind of crazy. Okay, come on now. There it comes. Okay. We got all these guys, and there's the extra 3M strips. Okay, so. Oh, more extra 3M strips. Come on, I see ya. No? Instructions. Okay, great. So. I got to read on the outside of this box because I think this is hilarious that it says this. I think it's great that it says this, but it's also kind of funny because I guess not because, you know, I know a lot of parents who are unattended to their children and they, they want to automate everything. They want everything to, oh man. not, not a, as funny as it seems. Okay. So it says caution, this product acts as a deterrent, not a substitute for adult supervision contains small parts which may come loose handle with care children should be monitored and not left unattended check the lock uh, regularly to ensure safe usage okay so I'm gonna take a picture of that little note on the box so that people will read it and use it because parents are are bad okay and um, we're going to uh, take a picture of the product here. I don't think I'm going to use this and try it out today because I want to save it for somebody that actually needs it. Um, I don't know that I need it yet. Let's see, here we go. All right. And yesterday we just got rid of a whole bunch of children's stuff that was laying around. It was a whole pile of madness. Okay, so... These guys, I guess you can, I'm trying to figure out how these work, um, as far as like if you can slide the bands through, there's instructions here, so let's read the instructions. I'm not going to attach them to anything, but we're going to see how these work. So, yeah, there's a slider, which is what I was trying to get, but I couldn't get it to slide. Um, and then you got the clip button, got more pictures here. Let's see, uh, yeah, you can put them on refrigerators and stuff and things, and congratulations, all set. How do you use the adjuster thing? It doesn't show. Pull, it says pull part M in the direction of part N as shown below. What is part M and N? Okay, M is the lock. N is, let's see, so pull N or M, part M in the direction of N, okay. So, you pull this like this, and then does it release? How do these work? Maybe it's just in proof, because I... Come on, now. I mean, these things are like they're permanent or something. They don't... How do you... Okay, there we go. Now will it slide? Yes, okay. I get to slide back and forth now. Thank goodness. Okay. So, this, there's a slider. And then, okay, so that's on there. And then the 
the thing that lets it open and shut, how in the world, why isn't that working? This is how you're supposed to open the lock. Is Do the other ones, are they any easier? Am I doing this wrong? Because it's just to slide it towards part M and... Okay, what am I doing wrong? Is there adult proof? If part and slider tight to lock in, blah, 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 blah. Normal operations to unlock slide out clip button on part M and pull out, pull out, you just unlock. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I thought. So this is part M. Do it like this, and then it just pulls out, it says. Oh, oh, okay, maybe, maybe it, maybe I'm doing this the wrong way. Maybe, yeah, okay, there we go. So you stick this on, and then when you pull this out, it comes off, and then you can put it back on. There we go. Okay, now, man, so if a kid tries to pull on it, it won't come off. The band doesn't come out. All right, this is making sense now. All right, so we'll turn this over like that. Take another picture. Take some pictures of the destructions. Come on, turn this on. And I'll put the instructions here. Now, are these in another language? Nope, they just blank on the back. Okay, great. I don't care. That does not offend me. I'm English. Okay. Universal adjustable flexible strap checked off the list. All right, so now I got to get a selfie of the thing, and what am I going to say about it in uh, in the video? Well, I'll tell you what. I think that there are some uses that I could have for this immediately, even if I wasn't using this as a child safety tool, because I could use it to help keep a uh, freezer refrigerator door shut. Um, there's a lot of uses for this, so I'm liking that. Um, but as far as the safety for a kid, well, one of the biggest things with any safety lock is children are always learning. They're always getting smarter. And so you don't want your child to see you opening the lock because if the child sees you opening or adjusting the lock, they're going to figure it out a lot faster. And once the children figure out how to use one of these, you're in trouble. Now, another problem in the United States that I'm aware of, and some states, most states, I don't know, you can't just use a lock. You can't get a padlock at the store and put it on something because if you do, then the Child Protective Services and the kidnappers will come in and they'll tell you that it's inhumane or against their rules or whatever. And so that's why companies make a lot of money selling these things is because um, if a child is smart enough, they can still get into whatever it is. It's, it's, this is basically the equivalent, I mean, if you're thinking about it in a legal perspective, it's kind of the equivalent of, you know, having to push a button on the wall to get out the door or type in a code or something, something like that. Um, because you, you have to, uh, I mean, it still opens. It opens just like a, you know, a door or anything else. You pull the button and it opens. You turn the handle, it opens the door. And this is what this is. It's just a little bit confusing so that children hopefully cannot figure out how to open it. Now, it, this just acts as a deterrent. It is, okay, so you can't put this on a drawer with a gun in it or something like that. You just can't because you can't trust it, okay? You can't trust these things. you got to check them. you got to make sure the kids aren't figuring out how to get past them. All that good stuff. And you definitely can't just blame it on your spouse or somebody else staying with you that they're the ones taking stuff out of there or whatever. You, you know, because you don't know if these things aren't working or not. Are they expensive? I don't know. I was sent them for free as far as I know for an honest review. I didn't pay anything for these. Um, as far as I know. Sometimes I get little minor charges on these things they send me, but most of the time not. And I don't believe I'm being paid for this review. So... Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. May Jesus bless you. Please click the link in the description of the video. Welcome to another episode of Justin's Epic Amazing Reviews. 
Now, check this out. I've got over 14 packages that I'm supposed to be reviewing. I don't know how I'm going to get them all done today. But look at this. It just The packages, they just keep coming and coming and coming. And I want them to keep coming. So please keep sending your packages. The address is in the description of this video.